So if you if you work at a company that wants a sponsor, just let me know and I'll figure something out. And this is the links. Thank you. Mm, thank you, Patrick. I got, actually got really hungry for strawberries midway through and had to go get some. Um, next up, we've got Apollo to talk about Termux. I think now I'm unmuted. Hi all, I'm Gnostic Polo, allegedly of course. Uh, I'm one, one of the developers for the Termix project. Uh, I mainly maintain the Termix apps and some of the Termix plugins and our site. So what is Termix? Termix is a terminal emulator app for Android. Uh, it provides, us, uh, provides a Linux environment, uh, including 2000 uh, Linux packages that you can run uh, locally on your phone uh, without counting internet connection and without requiring a rooted device. Uh, you can check our uh, links uh, below for the site and how to install Termex. You can install Termex from Android and get out. So uh, when you install Termex, this is what you get. This is a terminal. Uh, you enter commands here and then you execute them. Like the presentation here is too short. I can't really give a live demo. Uh, so let's move ahead. So we support uh, most of the common programming languages. Uh, for example, C, C++, uh, Bash, Python, Ruby, Java. You can even compile Android apps uh, within Termux locally. Uh, you can check the key link for the full list, uh, although some are missing there. Uh, we also provide standard GNU plus Linux packages like CoUtils, GrabSend uh, for normal uh, scripting, etc. Uh, we also have Git, the Git package. You can use that to manage your local Git repositories and also your remote uh, ones on GitHub, GitLab, etc. We also have Archlone and other root packages. Uh, for example, Archlone allows, allows you to mount a cloud drive like Google Drive uh, on Android as a local file system. Uh, but that was root. In the screenshot below, you can see uh, an example compilation command for C and Java. So it's a basically a, a Clang and Java command that you see. So Termix plugins. Uh, we also support a lot of Termix plugin apps for the main Termix app. For example, Termix API allows you to use Android APIs from the command line, for example, if you want to get your contacts, call logs, SMS location, or take photos or do audio recordings, you can do that with just commands. Uh, you can check the wiki link for more info on what APIs are supported. Termits widget allows you to run commands from the launcher desktop, uh, which are scripts and widgets. Termix taskers allows you to run Termix commands from other automation apps like Tasker. Termix GUI allows you to use uh, native Android GUF from command line, like showing uh, dialogues, activities, et cetera. Termix X11, uh, that allows you to connect to the full Linux desktop that is hosted by Termix. Uh, you don't really need to use a terminal. You can have a full Linux desktop style desktop environment on, uh, on, and on Android, you can use uh, VNC servers or X11 app to connect to that. We also have Termix Float and Termix Boot. So Termix repos. Like I said, we have 2000 Linux packages, uh, plus Linux packages. They need to be patched to work on Android. Uh, the standard Linux distro packages don't work on Android because of uh, differences, uh, a lot of differences between Android and Linux distro. And they need to be kept up to date with upstream. That's a lot of work for our developers. And we also have 50 plus mirrors around the world. They are hosted uh, by our community members, universities, and companies. Our estimated monthly bandwidth is around uh, at least 100 TB per month. Uh, we don't really know how much because we don't monitor that. For only, we only have that for the main primary servers. Uh, and of course, that's a lot of bandwidth. Without the mirrors, we wouldn't have been able to support uh, or pay for the costs. So a huge shout out to all the mirrors for supporting us. You can check the following links for how to, uh, for more information on terminal packages and how to build them and our mirrors, etc. 
And so what's Interim Access Future? Uh, the main priority uh, is, of course, the Interim Access app releases. I know a lot of community members have been waiting the last few months, uh, months for the next release, but there has just been a ton of work, a lot of feature requests and fixes to work on, so hence the delay. Also, a lot of uh, I'm, a lot of work is going into refactoring Termux internally, so that in future Termux can be provided as uh, Termux Core can be provided as a library, so that other apps can import the library uh, instead of forking the entire Termux for their own users. Unlike uh, some of the other projects here, uh, we don't plan on going commercial. Uh, a lot of our users uh, around the world especially in developing countries, cannot afford laptops and PCs, but they can afford phones. Uh, so uh, having Termix to be free allows them to code for free. So uh, Termix should remain free, in my opinion. Uh, but that, uh, that still means we developers have to work uh, on the app and maintain the package maintenance. Uh, it requires a ton of, it requires countless hours of work every month. So we really need more donations so that our developers can be compensated for their time uh, and efforts. We currently only really get our, around $100, a few hundred dollars per month. So uh, check out our uh, donation link on our website. You can donate to us on Open Collective and get us sponsors. We also need a lot of package maintainers uh, like our, we have like 12 active package maintainers and they are maintaining a few thousand packages, updating them. So that's a lot of work for them. So we really need more uh, developers as well. We also need app developers as well in future because uh, we also have a lot of plugin apps, so they, they, need, they need work as well. So GitHub Accelerator. Well, it has been a wonderful journey. Uh, firstly, thanks a lot for GitHub for accepting us uh, Termux for the first cohort. Uh, it has been great listening to other open source leaders and how they are financing their own projects and what worked for them and what didn't work for them. Uh, the, the other talks were great as well. A lot of learning to do. Uh, uh, the, the stipend was great as well. That's going to help with uh, development for the next few months for me. So thanks a lot for that. Special thanks to Kara, Abby, and Rima, and the other cohorts uh, for 10 great weeks. I wish you all good luck, and hopefully GitHub will continue this next year as well, for, so that other projects can benefit as well. See you all. Goodbye. Thank you so much, Apollo. It's been wonderful working with you. Um, sure. <laughs> we've got Alex next up to talk about team.